Hello everyone, this is Adil Zuberi from Superpower Solutions. Today, in dissecting successful marketing funnels, I am talking about webinar to call funnel. Basically, it's a webinar with a call to action to call you or book an appointment with you to call you. So who is this for? Doctors, consultants, coaches, anyone whose business depends on their client calling them. So what are we going to do? So in this funnel, people sign up for the webinar. Then they receive info confirmation along with the link to the download file in their email. So download file is an optional. If you don't have download file, just a confirmation is fine. Then they show up at the webinar. Now inside the webinar, you give them a compelling reason to call you with a clearly visible button that will take them to calendar booking page. So you encourage them to book a time with you, to be on a call with you, and to make it easy, instead of telling them to go to a URL type in their URL box, you give them a button which they have to click. It will open a new window or a new tab without disturbing your webinar it will open a calendar application where they can book a slot with you so once they book the consulting call um, with you they are added to your calendar and their calendar it's the information is added to their calendar as well so what kind of pages do we need we need a webinar registration page we need a registration thank you page and we need live webinar room. Now, what type of tools we are using? We're using uh, ClickFunnels in this case, Ever Webinar, which is uh, an automated version of Webinar Jam, and Amazon S3 Cloud Service. Well, this is for uploading a file. Uh, it's good and scalable. If you have very few people coming you, coming to your webinars, you can uh, do Google Drive or Dropbox as well. So what kind of links do we need before we start building this funnel is uh, links to link to the PDF file, which people will download. So let's jump right in. So here's the, here's a landing page in ClickFunnels. Now there's a limitation of click funnels. Um, especially when you integrate click funnels with, with Ever Webinar. The problem is Ever Webinar, in Ever Webinar, you can select multiple times of the day and which days you want the webinar to run. That's a good thing, but click funnels is not ready for it yet. Click funnels do not integrate with all the dates and timings. And if you have multiple dates and timings, it will mess up the integration. The integration will look like as if it's gone through, but it will not work. So the best way to go ahead is in Ever Webinar, you set up your webinar as, uh, as going on every day. So every day at particular time, and then integrate that webinar with, Infu with uh, ClickFunnels, and I'll show you how to do it. So in ClickFunnels, when somebody register, when somebody click this button, the option given is hashtag open pop-up. Now the open pop-up is this information. So again, because ClickFunnels does not integrate with the Ever Webinar, I have to specify the date and time. So I avoid the date, but time, upcoming 6 p.m., upcoming 6 p.m., because this is 6 p.m. EST time here. So it's embedded there. Now people sign up for the webinar. The, the action selected here is submit form. Submit form function do two things. One, it actually submit the form to the actual integration and it will take you to the next page uh, which is in the same funnel in ClickFunnels. So that would be its thank you page. So we need thank you page to say hey your registration is confirmed please have a look out for uh, the email also if you want people to download the PDF or your notes 
on that page you can put those notes there uh, basically you put the link to those notes and and where to upload those no notes uh, i'll show in a bit so let me show you uh, a demo of this integration so here opens the pop-up then go to the show pop-up pop you change everything what you need to do then uh, submit the page in instead of submit the form like yeah actually this is correct submit the form is what we have to leave it now in the integration let me show you the old page in email integration it's connected to ever webinar so it's not integrated with email but ever webinar is acting as if it's an email autoresponder so ever webinar then the the appropriate webinar so let's do do a live version here so connect select uh, webinar jam no in this case it's ever webinar then select the available register to webinar session and then select the session and then it's connected now because my webinar is connected with a different uh, funnel i'm going to remove this integration but this is how the integration is done and that's where the integration finishes so we have finished the integration what happens is now people sign up and they receive emails so let's have a look at the emails you want to send the pdf in the email now for that in ever webinar inside the webinar we are creating we go to notifications tab and we configure it there's a welcome message you can add more email welcome message when somebody is confirming so what you do is you edit that welcome message so it basically will edit the email come on ah finally okay so let me do it again yeah it's better now so here for example there these are links so what you do is you select a word or thing and then put a link on it using this button insert a link and you go to your cloud service so i'm, I'm using amazon s3 so let me show you how it's done uh, when you sign up for amazon uh, service amazon web services which is free you get access to these services i select s3 well, they charge you based on the usage. So it's pennies for hundreds of views or downloads or something like that. Uh, and, and you create a bucket. So I just created a bucket, which is this. I mean, it's it's something like, um, uh, I don't personally understand the bucket system they, they work on, but uh, I just know that the bucket name needs to be unique in the world. Like it's like a username, but uh, it's, it's a, it's a virtual system which is on virtual computer which amazon put on to store your data so um and then you go inside the bucket and upload a file so let's say i add a file so let's say this image and it's uploading 1.8 mb i will start upload Let's wait for it to upload. So once it's uploaded, what you have to do is you go to its properties. Well, I think, yeah, okay. In the permissions, you create everyone, this permission to open, view, open and download and view uh and save and then what you do you copy this link and you paste it in your this link url in in ever webinar and press ok so whenever people receive email and they click on this link they will download that file which i just uploaded in the cloud here and that's it it's as simple as that now what we need to do is uh, when people attend a webinar 
during the webinar, you want to give them an option to click on a button and go to your calendar booking page. So how you do that is you go to live tab. In that live tab, you have a, an option called product offers. You click on offers. So for example, I have created one offer here, but for the sake of this video, let's create a new offer. What you do is you put up a time when this offer should start. So because it's an automated webinar, you know in the video what is the exact time when you when, when you tell people that the button is now live and you make it live at that time. You give a name, give a headline, and then here's a URL. And this URL is where your calendar is. So when people go to this URL, they will be they will be on your calendar. This is all it is. You put the URL, I use Calendly service, Calendly URL. Uh, you can use any calendar integration service. So you do that and then when the particular time comes, the button is shown to the people, they will click on the button and they will go and book an appointment with you. So this is all, what we have done is, uh, we did click funnel registration page and it's synchronized with ever webinar we have talked about the limitations of click funnel while integrating it with ever webinar um, then registered a like basically a thank you page with ever webinar it's not really needed because the thank you page is a standalone and uh, like ever webinar is sending people to a separate page which is a booking of appointment page and you can put any page there any link there then we send automated emails using ever webinar so you don't need an automated uh, uh, automation service to just to implement this this part of the funnel then we send a document we sent a link to the document in the email and we link the calendar in the ever webinar so i hope you like the video if you need um, if you have more questions you want to ask, feel free to ask me in the comments below or uh, uh, in, in the blog post uh, by contacting me. Let me know what type of content you would like me to create for you. Thank you very much. Signing out, Adil Zuberi.